Hey, this is Pretty Sweet 50 here with another installment of anime, The Guilty Pleasure. I am here with an update video to talk a little bit about what I think of six of the animes that I have been watching, and then just an update on what's going on on the 7th, because I've already seen more episodes of the 7th than I have of any of the other ones. I... I don't know how I feel so far. I know I picked a good seven. All of them are pretty good. I enjoy them. I'm going to actually rank them in like five seconds and you're gonna to get to see this week's top seven. And this week's number one is... That's right, this week's winner is Free. I cannot say enough about Free and how it has captivated me and stolen all my time and all my attention. I enjoyed the first five episodes very much. Um, episode five is definitely a cliffhanger. I cannot wait to see what happens to Ray, silly Ray and figure out what's going on between the ocean and Makoto. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to finish it and move on more with it. Free is definitely a must see on my list. Um, I definitely forgot to tell you guys this. With every anime, I'm making these scenes from the same website I use to make the guilty pleasure title screen this is the free one it's got Haru and Ren and me in it and I think it's funny something new that I wanted to try to do with each of the videos it's actually kind of hard but I really do try uh, I this one has to be my favorite not because free is my favorite but because you can choose the background for the pool and it's just awesome um i will definitely link the description below to the website that you can use to find the manga creator so you guys can maybe make your own images i'd love for you to share them with me um but now let's find out who this week's number two is This week's number two is Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Crystal. I am a big Sailor Moon fan. I mentioned that in my intro video. I am 11 episodes into Sailor Moon Crystal. I started watching it as soon as it started airing. I am obsessed. I am in love. True to the manga all the way. Today's episode, totally a cliffhanger. Can't wait to see what happens Oh, on the third Saturday of December but that doesn't matter I'm still gonna stay perky and happy and here is this anime's picture it is I and candy bear and a pink cat dressed as our favorite sailor senshi I personally love this game it's called the sailor senshi maker you can find it on dolldivine.com you can go in there and make all your favorite Sailor Scouts, make your friends with Sailor Scouts, make Sailor Stars. I know they're working on a new update to get guys, so you definitely have to check this out and definitely try it out. And you definitely have to watch Sailor Moon Crystal. Now. Today. Tomorrow. Soon. Soon. That's right, number three is Kokoro's Basketball. I definitely love this anime. It was definitely a toss up between this one and Sailor Moon Crystal be my number two, only because I watch Sailor Moon Crystal already on a daily basis. Well, not the daily basis, but anyway. 
So I love this story. I love the miracle generation idea. As a basketball player, this is definitely true to basketball and how basketball goes and all of those nips and tricks and how players are good at certain things and some players aren't as good as others. Definitely worth watching if you like basketball. Definitely worth loving if you just love it. Um, I love Kokoro. He's my favorite. Um, and Kanji, he's my other favorite. I love them both. I love that light and shadow thing they've got going on. And as you can see, this is this image for Kokoro's basketball. And it is just Kokoro throwing a basketball at poor little old me. Uh, I just thought it would be funny and hilarious. I could definitely see him trying to play pick up with Kanji. And the ball slipping out of his hands or something and he accidentally pelt somebody and that somebody today who will be me now let's find out what is this week's number four all right and we are here with number four which is fairy tale I enjoy fairy tale it's very interesting and fancy I love Natsu and I love Lucy Lucy is hilarious so funny um <laughs> it's actually a really good storyline so far I'm really enjoying it I can't wait to see um how it's going gray and it's awesome yeah I know the picture probably doesn't look like Natsu but it doesn't really matter it was just for video purposes and creative purposes to make sure each anime had a picture I kind of like it I think it's funny um very very interesting I cannot wait to get more into fairy tale because I can see myself getting totally addicted to this show as time goes on so now let's move on and find out who is this week's number five? This week's number five is Black Butler. I I don't know what to say about Black Butler. I it's not bad, but I don't know if it's just story so far and all my unanswered questions that I need answered before I can determine if I'm ready to just sink into the fandom which is Sebastian and CL. I definitely think Sebastian is very interesting along with the rest of the staff at the mansion who can't seem to do anything right which is kind of funny and Sebastian is apparently one hell of a good butler so that's always very interesting. This show in general is just interesting. I just really want to know more and figure it all out. And for this one's image, obviously if I was in the anime, I would work in the mansion and I would be another one of those horrible people who don't know what they're doing. I might be slightly better than their current maid, but probably just as bad. And I just thought this picture was hilarious, totally worth sharing, concept idea. And now let's move on to find out who is in the bottom two this week. Coming in six this week is the Prince of Tennis. I'm actually hoping this one makes a comeback and ends up in the top five next week because I really do enjoy The Prince of Tennis. It's just compared to all the other ones and how their first five episodes went compared to The Prince of Tennis's first five episodes, I have to lean more towards the other ones. But overall, I still enjoy it. I thought it was great. And here's a picture of me and the tennis captain. I thought that 
this would just be a fun one to do. It's kind of hard to pick out the characters that I want to do for the different images, but when I was thinking of Prince of Tennis, he was the first guy to pop out to me as somebody I wanted to do in my images, and I can't wait to see who's next week prince of tennis guy is it's gonna be pretty funny and coming in seventh this week is i shield 21 i'm definitely sure this anime will make a comeback i've read the manga and i enjoyed it so i know that it will recaptivate my attention very very soon so i'm not really worried about it being in seventh place Overall, the story is pretty good. I really enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. It's fun watching it and seeing it play out instead of reading it. I love to read, but just watching it is awesome too. And as you can see, this is the image for this one. It is of Sakurabua. I'm saying it all wrong. The member of the Ojo White Knight football team, Shin's friend. I was going to do Shin, but I really couldn't decide. It was really, really hard. But other than that, I Shield 21 will definitely make a comeback. Okay, everybody. And that is it for this week's top seven. Um, I will definitely be back with a new video next week. Well, a new video for the anime Guilty Pleasure. I will also, um, sometime this week, have a channel update video that just says what's going on with my channel. If anybody's interested in what's to come. Because I plan on doing some more talks. Um, if you watch my planning videos, I plan on doing more planning. So I'm really excited to finally get a steady YouTube thing going. And I will definitely catch you all back here next week sometime for Anime, The Guilty Pleasure. Bye!